dear students in this session we are going to see about electrostatic potential and capacitance so this diagram shows that the electric field of this point charge q it may be a positive or negative charge so whenever there is a electric field there is another characteristic property is called as a electric potential so the electric field and the electric potential are the characteristic property of in this field any point in this field let us consider this is a point p so at this point there will be a electric field also the electric potential of this point charge q so these two are interrelated so we are going to see detail about this electric potential and the relation with the electric field also we are going to see in this session so what is electric potential yes in the lower class itself we have studied that the amount of work done to bring a unit charge against the source charge I will clearly explain that. So let us consider this is a test charge Q naught. So if the test charge is brings or it will be moves towards the source charge which is also a positive charge. Whenever this uh, positive charge is uh, move from far away and it will be moves towards the uh, source charge at a particular point it experiences uh, electrostatic repulsion between them. So there, has, there must be a work must be done to move against this electrostatic force and it will be placed at a one particular point. Hence we define electric potential or a potential difference between the two points is the amount of work done to bring a test charge from a point A to point B against the electrostatic repulsion between the source charge and the test charge. Hence we can write the formula as the electric potential difference is potential at B minus potential at A. So that is the amount of work done to bring a charge from work done to bring a charge from B to A divided by that test charge or simply we can say that electric potential is equal to work done by charge. The students may ask some question. Sir, in examination, they will ask electric potential and electric potential difference. So, electric potential means the same definition. If you take this point A as a infinity means, so amount of work done to bring a charge from infinity to the particular point is called electric potential. And the same definition, if the amount of work done to bring a charge from one point to another point is called as a potential difference. Hence, we can say that if a point A is at infinity, so the potential at A is zero. So whenever the point is far away from this source charge, the electric potential become zero, similar to electric field. So the electric potential at a point is called as or simply a electric potential is called work done by charge. Similarly, the potential difference is called as a work done to bring a charge from one point to another point by the charge. So clearly it is a these are all the definitions of the electric potential and potential difference. What is the SI unit of the potential or potential difference? It, uh, yes, it is a volt. You should always write the SI unit in small letters. The symbol is it in capital letter. It is V. So define SI unit of potential or the SI unit of potential difference means we can simply write 1 volt which is equal to 1 volt means for the potential V the SI unit is volt and for the work the SI unit is joule and for the charge the SI unit is coulomb. So amount of the uh, amount of 1 joule of work done to bring a charge of 1 coulomb of charge uh, from one point to another point or from the infinity to the particular point against the electrostatic force is called as a 1 volt. This is a definition of SI unit of potential. Now we are going to derive the expression for electric potential due to a point charge that means one single charge Q. So as per the definition there must be a work uh, the test charge must be bring from the infinity point to the particular point. So this is a point P at this point P we are going to uh, derive the expression for potential due to this charge 
Q. So for that we need a test charge Q naught. So there is a test charge has to be bring from the infinity to the particular. It will be moves toward this positive charge. When it is moves towards the positive charge, there must be a work done. That work done must be move against the electrostatic force. Now we take uh, consideration. So at this point only we are going to the find the electric potential. So we mark the two points A and B. So this uh, distance between the A and B is dx. So what is the repulsion between the force of repulsion? This is a positive charge. We take this charge is also a positive charge. So the force will be opposite sense. So we have to move the test charge towards the plus q but the force of uh, electrostatic force will be in this opposite direction so the direction of movement of the test charge is in this direction and the force direction is opposite hence uh, the electrostatic force between the q and the q naught can be written as f is equal to 1 by 4 pi x lambda naught q q naught by x squared by coulomb's law so at the point a the test charges bring from infinity to the particular point at the point a there is a two points uh, charges q and q no q naught separated by a distance x by substituting to the coulomb's law f is equal to 1 by 4 pi x lambda naught q q naught by x squared so there must be a small work done to bring this test charge from a to b so the small work done is a tw and the force is this value and the displacement is towards b opposite to the force value so f dx f dot dx it is a dot product scalar product work is a scalar so the product of force into displacement is a work so this uh, force is we are already derived that we are uh, obtained the uh, force uh, expression from coulomb's law and dx so dot product means we have to put cos theta how it is a 180 degree Yes, I am already told that the force is in this uh, direction and the displacement is in this opposite direction. Both are anti-parallel. So we have to put theta is equal to 180 degree. Hence, cos 180 degree is minus 1. We get small work done to bring a charge from A to B is minus F dx. Substitute this force value here. In order to obtain the total work done so the total work done to bring a charge from infinity to the particular point we have to integrate it so the integration of minus f dx so the limitation is the test charge has to be moved from infinity to the particular point p yes that is the definition of the electric potential amount of work done to bring a charge from infinity to the particular point is called as a, against the electrostatic force is called as a electric potential so we have to put the lower limit infinity and upper limit r so from infinity to the r only the charge has to be moved so w which is equal to minus come outside integral infinity r then <coughs> 1 by 4 pi x lambda q naught uh, q q naught by x squared into dx this is the force equation which is already we obtained from the coulomb's law then we bring all the constant value only x is a variable because we are going to integrate with respect to x alone so x has to be keep inside uh, in the integration symbol so lower limit infinity and upper limit r integration of x power minus 2 is by this is a general formula integration of x power n dx is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 some students will ask that where the dx will go sir listen carefully the integration integration is an operator with add all the things this is a function it is a mathematical function this is a derivative so the integration derivative is dx when you uh, <coughs> apply this formula we get the answer x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 similarly here integration of x power minus 2 means n is minus 2 so x power n plus 1 by n plus 1 minus 2 plus 1 by minus 2 plus 1 we have to substitute this lower limit and upper limit within a bracket in the bottom and top. This is a lower limit. This is a upper limit. That is, this is a starting point and this is a ending point, final point. So again, so this minus 2 plus 1 will become minus. So this minus and this minus become positive. 1 by 4 pi x lambda naught q q naught into x power minus 2 plus 1. It is a x power minus 1. Then we have to write 1 by x into uh, the limit 
infinity and r so substitute the in, uh, upper limit minus the formula is upper limit minus lower limit so instead of x you have to substitute r so 1 by r minus what is the lower limit 1 by instead of x substitute infinity so 1 by infinity is 0 so we get w which is equal to q q naught by 4 pi x lambda naught into 1 by r simply we can write work done which is equal to 1 by 4 pi x lambda naught q q naught by r Yes, as per the electric potential uh, definition, V is equal to W by Q, substitute this W here. So, this Q naught and this Q naught will get cancelled. Finally, we get electric potential equation as V is equal to 1 by 4 pi x lambda naught Q by R. Dear students, this graph clearly shows that the relation between that graph between the electric field and electric potential at that point. So the same charge at the same distance. The electric field graph shows the dotted line and the continuous line shows the electric potential graph. So it is clearly the electric field is inversely uh, the distance square inversely proportional to uh, R squared and the potential is inversely proportional to R. So this is a distance square and this is a distance. What is this R? This both the R are distance between the charge and which point we are going to find the electric potential or electric field. Let us consider this is a charge. So at this point we can find the electric field value as well as the potential value. So electric field formula is this one and the electric potential formula is this one. What is the distance between this one? That is a r so we can put kq by r squared this r will come again for potential it is kq by r alone hence in this session we clearly studied about electric potential and electric potential difference and electric potential at a particular point charge